You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In the previous section, we have learned how to configure security policies on Juniper SRX device to control traffic between zones. Now it's critical to monitor and troubleshoot connectivities over security policies, especially when there is a connectivity problem. In this section, we will learn five very practical and handy monitoring and troubleshooting commands for security policies. In this section, we will examine five monitoring commands to troubleshoot connections over Juniper SOX device. The first command shows security policies is just to check and review the configured security policies per interface or per zone pair. If you enter details as a parameter in this command, it is also possible to monitor the statistics for each policy. In other words, byte rate, packet rate, and session rate for incoming and outgoing traffic matching each policy. In the second command, show security flow session, you can monitor all active sessions through Juniper SRX. This command is very useful and very handy commands in connection troubleshooting. With grep command or the parameters of the command itself, we can easily limit the output for a specific sessions. With the command show security match policies, you can monitor how a specific traffic with a given source and destination IP protocol and source and destination port are matched with security policies. In other words, with which policy a given traffic is matched and what will be the action of the traffic. You can also log any interesting traffic and refer to it later when the traffic is no longer active. For logging any traffic, the action of log session init or log session close must be configured in the security policy to lock traffic at the beginning of the new sessions matching the policy or when the sessions are terminated. I've shown the parameters lock session init and session close in the previous section. With show security policies hit count, you can monitor how many sessions are matched with each policy. Now let's check practically each command in a real environment. The first command shows security policies which mostly is used to review the configuration especially when you enter the command in the configuration mode. Show security policies. Just to review that what we have configured in the previous section we have configured from inside to outside for policy from the inside to outside zone permit web to permit the web traffic from the inside IP address but not just to permit but also lock at session init and session close and also count the number of sessions. Permit telnet the same, permit ICMP the same and as the last rule we have configured deny all not just to reject all other traffic but also log the traffic which are denied. We have not used the implicit denial all policy just to lock the traffics which are denied. But when you enter the command in operational mode, run show security policies, you can review the configuration, but in other method, in other way, from zone inside to zone outside again permit web the action permit log and count permit telnet permit icmp and deny all the same output but in a different way if you enter the keyword detail at the end of this command the statistic for each policy will also be displayed which includes byte rate packet rate and session rate for incoming and outgoing traffic as you can see here policy statistics 
for the byte rate for the packet rate and also session rate with the command show security flow session all live sessions through the juniper sx will be displayed which is very practical in connection troubleshooting at the moment we have no live session so to create some live session a telnet sessions we create here and also a ping and then we check again the command and you, as you can see permit telnet one session is matched and permit icmp we have also two sessions as you can see each connection is shown separately not only the specification of the packets are displayed just source ip source port destination ip and destination port but also shows with which policy it is matched and how many packets are matched with this session in the incoming to the interface or outgoing incoming to the juniper device or outgoing from the juniper device you can match a specific sessions because there are usually so many sessions and we have to match only a specific for some specific sessions we can do it with grep command or with the parameters included in the command itself for example with the grep we can match any sessions matching port for example 23 or with a specific source and so so uh, the session of the telnet connection is displayed with the gref command with the command show security match policies match policies you can check how a specific traffic sample will be matched with the security policies for example show security match policies from zone inside to zone to zone outside for a sample source ip for source ip 192 168 1 100 and destination ip 100 10 100 from the source and destination ip 190 100 1 100 and also source port for example 1 2 3 4 and the destination port 23 and protocol tcp this is a sample packet i want to make sure with which policy this sample traffic will be matched and what will be the action of the policies as you can see the traffic will be matched with the permit telnet policies and the action will be permitted and this is also the statistics of the policy that also we have seen the output of show security policy details command as you have seen actually uh, the traffic was not a real traffic and you only ask how a specific sample traffic with a given source and destination ip address protocol and source and destination port is matched with security policies in other words with which policy a sample traffic will be matched the other useful monitoring and troubleshooting command in juniper sx device is to log any interesting traffic forwarding through Juniper SRX device or denied in the Juniper SRX device. To enable logging, first we have to make sure that we enable the log action in any interesting policy as we have uh, configured in the previous section. Just to review, show security policies as you can see from zone inside to zone outside configured permit telnet but log as the action log as the action must be configured for each interesting traffic that 
that you want to be logged with a log session in it or log session closed to log any new session matching the policy or log any session when they are terminated we also have to enable SRX syslog service to configure where the logs are stored and how we can refer to them at a later time to log traffic matching security policies we write that system syslog in a file with the name of firewall to store any log with any severity and any category but matching any security policy logs which include rt underline flow underline session any log with any severity and any category matching the keyword rt underline flow underline session will be stored in a file with the name of firewall i have to also configure set security log mode event instead of a stream which is the default event log the traffic in control plane instead of a stream which log the traffic in data plane uh, without this command all logs are processed in data plane but i'm not sure why there is no log output for me stored in the log file without this command so i have to enter this command and then uh, show compare and then commit now again let's generate some traffic some traffic to be permitted and some traffic to be denied again ping again telnet and also ftp traffic which is denied And now we can check the output of show log command with command run show log firewall. As you can see, this is the output of any traffic which are permitted or denied by deny all. Or for example, let's check it with grep23 which are matched with permit telnet or ICMP or FTP which are denied by deny all rule at the end of our policy as you can see deny all traffic from 10 121 to 100 to 188 the destination port ftp or 21 and the last command with the command show security policies it can't you can monitor how many sessions are matched with each policy for example with the policy permit telnet as you can see nine sessions are matched again we generate a new telnet session to make sure if it is increasing or not again we check the output of this command as you can see it changed to 10 so a new session is matched with this permit telnet policy